everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing more Civilization 6. We're continuing with our isolationist. I swear, I swear there's other people in the game with us. This is kind of unusual, to, to say the least. So, uh, one thing I was thinking last episode, I think this settler right here, we're going to go throw here. Uh, I decided as soon as I ended the last episode. Reason for that is we want to get some loyalty pressure going over here. Because uh, we want to make sure that if someone else exists, they don't come and colonize over there. That'd be really terrible, too, if like our first experience with someone else is them colonizing my land. They're like, ooh, look at all this freaking awesome land that we can go take and, you know, um, um, colonize colonize and I'm like no that's mine this is my people's land so anyways we are just gonna fortify you I think yeah we're waiting six more turns so all right uh writer points don't care don't care and we don't care about scientist points we would like it but nah we do want to get some campuses going before too long, but right now I think we're still in a great spot. I mean, science isn't terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. I wish I could compare it. I mean, we're in last place, but we start on deity. We're always going to be in last place to start with, so we'll have to see here in a little bit. So you finished another settler. I think we keep popping them out. I really do. I really, really do. So you're coming down here. The only other thing we could do is get a monument. Harbor might not be a bad idea either. Yeah, the harbor wouldn't be a bad idea. Unfortunately... Oh, God. Ugh. So I could put the harbor in our lake. The thing with that is everyone's going to hate me if I do that. <laughs> I'm going to get so much crap about putting a harbor in a lake. Even though it gives me so much better of a bonus. Oh, but you get the plus two being adjacent to the city center. Which maybe that's why we should put the city center there, but eh. Eh. Although, if we put the harbor out here, then we can use that harbor, right? And then that gives us access. Dude, this coast here, all being like, that is so cool. I love it, man. I love it. Dang it, how do we get error score? What do we get error score for? We killed barbarians. Dang it. Urgh. We don't want that. You guys just hang out. Um, you guys can come over here. And we'll go like this. And then you're going to grab me the bananas. And I think we're good. There's not too many tiles that we're... Um, working right now that aren't improved there's one a couple yeah okay so we still need board builders more builders which maybe then that's what we should do four turns i think we still have the boost we still have the boost in settlers so let's keep knocking it out because we got six more turns on that yeah definitely knock me the sheep so then you gave me a little extra production so you're working that tile down instead of that one uh same production but we get a little extra food so we're gonna grow a little quicker sure you need housing, though, until you grow again. 5.5. Definitely want more builders. Classical era ends in four turns. Sounds good. Oh, good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, no era score, please. <laughs> Do not give me any era score. Yeah, we really want to start looking at getting a... I'll put you up here, that's fine. Um... We really, really, really want to get some campuses going. The thing is, I've been waiting on the campuses until we meet another civilization. Because <laughs> I'm just trying not to waste. I mean, it's going to save me a turn, I know, but I, I just don't want to waste boost. And the thing is, we want to meet other civs next. Um, yeah, we want to meet other civs. Dang it, get off the roads. Uh, but next era, not this era. You bought a swordsman, okay. We got one more turn. Let's not go too far here. Dang it, dude. Um. Okay. We might not be able to access anyone else. Where's our other ship? You're coming home. You're a couple turns away. Well, this is interesting. So, I still want to wait, but I really do want to get an apprentice ship knocked out. We'll do Watermill, because we got you boosted. And we're trying to keep up with tech, because we're not doing research right now. So the reason we're probably keeping up in tech is, well, I mean, we're staying somewhat close in tech, is because we're focused purely on the boost. Um, I think that was, what did we just get a prompt for? We got a prompt for someone. I don't know. You stay locked in there. Oh, yeah, yeah the trader out. 
So then, let's put you all the way up in Mecca. And we're going to get some more trade routes coming down. Probably down to Hatin. 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 I need some people to tell me how to pronounce these. We got... Three turns left. No, you're done. Man suffers only because he takes serious. Yeah, you're done then. Yep. Okay, time to colonize. And we got a golden age. Hell yeah, dude. Baghdad. Sweet. Uh, do we still need sea boost? We do not. Yeah, we maxed that one out already. So let's go ahead and grab the stone to begin with then. You are just gonna upgrade just to an archer. Dang it. Why? <laughs> this map. Uh, okay, Golden Age boost. Man, if only we had a Dark Age to begin with then. Movement for all builders may purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are 30% cheaper to purchase. Ooh. Or movement for missionary apostles and inquisitors. Additionally, new trained ones get two charges plus four great profit points per turn. I think we go Exodus of Evangelist. Yeah. Any of these I could defend right now. We're behind in culture and science, so I could defend both of these. This is great because we could spend our faith purchasing uh, settlers because we have a little bit of extra faith, but I think we're going to religious playthrough. The movement isn't as big right now, uh, but plus two charges is ridiculously good. Although we might not end up... Um, we might not end up getting any missionaries right now. Worst case scenario, we just need to spend all our faith to buy missionaries before we end this era. Okay. 100% holy side adjacency. Yeah, you know what? We're going to grab that one. Yeah, we're going to grab that one. Plus one production, whatever. I don't care about it anymore. Money, sure. Influence, sure. They'll be fine for now. So, we'll want to switch over to... Um, what's next? One turn. We'll hold on to that. What, what, what do we want to go next? Maybe alliance might not be the worst thing. Recorded history gives us campus adjacency. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, we might just want to go straight for monarchy. It's usually what I do next. We're not really boosted too much over here. None of these are really great for us right now, so... Um, give me the shrine into a temple. Yeah, what's your housing look like? Great, so shrine into a temple is what we need. Uh, down here in Baghdad, I think we'll start with a water mill. Even though it's not going to give us a lot, it's going to give us one food, one production. It's not a major one. Um, but anything that helps with production is going to help. And the thing is, like, this city is going to be uh, pretty okay once we start working all these tiles. And we'll probably end up boosting, like, maybe the crabs. Yeah, probably the crabs will end up buying first, or maybe the other stone. I don't know. Or we could just use them over here with the bananas and the stone. And the crabs. <laughs> Which might be a little better. Because Baghdad still has plenty of time before it needs another builder. Okay, so we have enough now we can become suzerain over here at Fatusa, which gives us nothing. Provides one strategic resource you have revealed but do not own. This one gives us crabs and cola. We don't get anything from you. We don't have libraries right now anyways. We don't have barracks or stables. So maybe we should just go up here and get the faith. Nah. Also gave us error score. Okay, so... I'm tempted to go all the way down to Hattusa. For the trade route. For the roads. We'll need a trade route here, eventually. Let's go all the way down to Hattusa. We uh, actually would probably rather go an internal trade route to whatever this city's gonna end up being, but... Um, we're too many turns away on that. Oh, that gives us an envoy. Nice. Nice. Yerevan also wants a trade route, too. So we could have sent it to Yerevan and then uh, gotten all six for Yerevan, but whatever. Stop building units. You're scaring me. <laughs> Even though you're mine. Okay, well, let's bring you down here and pray that maybe this gives us some access. And where's our ship? Oh, you're still so far away. Come on, hurry up, please. Stone, thank you. I think we're gonna go get this stone instead. I need I need roads here. 
Yeah, I need another trader up. So we need to start looking at the harbors. Yeah, we need to seriously look at harbors now. Because we need more trade routes. 36 turns. We'll wait a little bit. But I think Cairo, we're going to put the harbor. And we'll probably put it next to the crabs. Because the thing is, we do want easy access to this ocean, number one. Um, so we'll put it probably right here. And then number two... I mean, it's, it's going to lose two gold per turn. It's not that big of a deal. Like, at the end of the game, we're making 300 gold per turn, 150 gold per turn. Two gold doesn't really mean much, so. Yeah, let's start you down here. And I don't think there's really much else for us to do. The thing is, since we haven't met anyone, these turns are just so quick for us. I mean, we're episode three. We're averaging like 30 turns per episode. This is ridiculously quick. Um, there's not just really not much for us to do. So our next city, I think we're going to put it here. Yeah. Could put a city over here eventually. I'll probably put another city down here before that, though. There's some deer, which isn't terrible. Why every time? Ah, that's so frustrating. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four. Brian, count. <laughs> one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. So really, we want to go right here. That's going to become a two, one. And it'll work right next to a one, two. It's not the worst one in the world. And once again, we're just trying to, like, isolate our territory. We don't want any AI to come over here and grab it. And, I mean, we might be able to get a holy site out here. It won't be great, but, you know, it could do something. Maybe that's what we should do, is really just look for spots for our holy sites. Like, we've got rainforest over here. There's no mountains. But we do have... Hmm. Interesting. So maybe we want to put a city here so we can get another holy site adjacent to this sucker. Yeah, actually, I think we do that next. I don't really care about another source of iron right now. And we can always buy out to that tile if we really, really need it. Uh, okay. We've not met another sieve yet. <laughs> it might just be time, because I think we have to go commercial hub industrial route. We need the temple. We have to have the temple first. And then we'll go into a harbor. We don't have money for it. Yeah, I need the temple, though, so I can uh, get my apostles out. So, yeah, sure. We'll go up here so we can get another slightly better holy site. Ah, I see them. I just can't get to them. Crap. Uh, well, we could start engineering. And then let it finish later. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then you're going to grab a harbor. We need more trade routes. So we'll go there. Okay. You are just fortifying up here just to keep an eye out on things. I think I'll put you here. Nah, nah, it was better where we were at. I don't care about that. Republic Legacy is like, no. <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do, by the way. No, I was trying to uh, click this off. And then it just popped up. So, how's my city coming over here? I am shocked that no one has met me either at this point. Like, this is getting a little ridiculous. It's kind of hilarious. You heal up. Where is my settler? Where'd he go? I should have a settler somewhere in this general direction. You built here. You should be coming on this road. Oh, he's right there. Sweet. Sweet, we're close. We're close. You're suggesting... Why would you suggest there? I guess because the horses? Forget that, man. Way better tell. And it's freshwater, too. Ooh, what about settling right where we're at? It's not going to be coastal. And I think we want as many coastal cities as possible. This would be a 2-1. That's going to be a 2-1 eventually, too. So, it's not like there's any more advantage to settling here. And, um... Honestly, we probably want our holy site here. Actually, we'll put a holy site here. Because they'll be adjacent to two. 
Eh, it'll be fine. Go away. Delete. Colonize. Jetta. And you go get me the rice right away. And go work on that. We have to buy it with 90. It's gonna be a plus two though, which is nice. Or we could put it here and just... I mean, that's a good point. We could just uh, harvest the wheat. Which is gonna give me a lot of food. It's gonna grow the city significant. Probably, maybe even up to size three. Now, production is really terrible here. As one production, because you're working that tile. Yeah, that's fine. Work that tile. And you know what? Let's just start with a harbor. I'm just going to immediately start with the harbor. That'll be fine. Governor tile, Ling gives us... We don't really need this right now. We can get extra growth in our cities, which I don't really need either. We don't necessarily need uh, Amani. I almost think we just save it right now. Yeah, I think we just save it for now. You fortify up there. You're going to come back over here. And we're going to cover as much as we can. Um, you come over here just so we can cover that tile. I'll just put you on that hill. And we just want to make sure that the AI doesn't see us. Oh my gosh, we can't freaking uh, get down here. So we're going to have to come all the way over here, it looks like. Oh lord. Okay, you know what? You're going to go this way. This guy's almost healed. And then we'll send you down this way. Wow! Okay, screw this. <laughs> it, we're not going to meet anyone anytime soon, so... We're just going to have to do it this way. Man, that is terrible, dude. We basically have to hope that someone comes and finds us. That's literally what we're um, waiting for at this point. So I'm going to go work on this stone. And we'll go buy that tile. Ooh. Now we should harvest that stone. Because we'll want to put a holy set right here. That's a plus four. Yeah, we'll want to harvest that stone then. So sure, I'll go send you down here. We'll buy the tile. We'll harvest the stone. And then we'll work on our holy site. Speaking of which, you also need a holy site. And I think we meant to do you sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, we're going to put you right here. Nice. Okay, that's another really great, great spot. Uh, but I'm okay with the harbor first. Because our income's kind of bad. Our faith right now is not great. It's okay. Um, our bigger issue though is we can't buy apostles. So <laughs> we're kind of stuck until we get that. Which is coming really quickly. But alright, one more turn and you're good to go explore. Someone built the temple. Well, they're not that far ahead of me. Come down here, please. I, I, I think this is not an ocean tile. It says ocean. These are all ocean tiles. Ocean. Ocean. Coast. But you're letting me go on the ocean tile. So our other option then is to rush out cartography. Build two harbors. Nah, we'll keep doing what we're doing. We were going to harvest this, right? But the thing is, I actually can't build another holy site. <laughs> That's fine. I'm debating. It's just going to be a 1-1 one, one at this point, right? Because the wheat's giving us plus 1. But it is better for us to work it right now. But in the scheme of things, I would much rather work over here on the amber. But we need to buy this amber. We need to buy a lot of tiles. We need gold. And that's what we're working for. All right, I think I would rather buy this tile first. I'm going to work this tile. I know I was going to rip it up. I don't think it gives us any advantage right now. I think long term it actually hurts us. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
We should have ripped it up. The only reason is I was like, well, we could work this tile for a couple turns. But the thing is, I should just be able to buy up to here in Amber in just a couple turns. And then, at that point, we don't need it. It's worthless to us once we have the Amber. Yeah, oh well. We'll have to remember to go rip it up eventually. Uh, okay. We only have plus one. So we might as well just become Suzerain of Hattusa. Why not? Give us more error score, please. Thank you. We didn't get any resources, but it may come in handy as soon as we get Niter and all that stuff. But hopefully the game's not too mean. Oil, I think we should be fine with. I think we should have plenty of oil down here, which is all more reasons to put City down there. Get some oil. Dude, I can't believe we didn't see anyone. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So, we're at 21 minutes. We had like two 50 minute episodes. So I'm at like two hours of playing this right now and we've yet to meet someone. <laughs> I have never seen a map like this. Okay, so your whole goal here is to get to this tile to do a holy site. So let's start with the monument. Actually, no, let's start with the granary. Because uh, you're not in fresh water. And then builders, hell yeah. Double fishies, I love it. I love it. And we'll probably just build a mine then. That'll be perfect. Uh, I think we hold on still. Is there, that's two now? No, we have one title available. Yeah, I don't care about one title right now. None of the next titles are worth it for us. So, like, they don't do anything for us. I mean, okay, we could grow our city 20% faster. But, we might rather have Black Marketeer, or, I don't know, there might be something else we'd rather have. And so I'd rather just save it for the time being. Because, you know, for example, we might need to get Amani, or we might need to get, you know, Rainya or something like that. I don't know. I just hate doing it for no reason. Double adjacency bonus for commercial hubs and harbors in the city. That would give us an extra three gold. Okay, fine then. <laughs> it will give us a bonus. I don't know that this bonus is worth it, because we might find out that we don't want her. We'd much rather upgrade someone else or do something else with them with our upgrade. So that's where it gets kind of like, eh, go away. Uh, we have quite a bit of vision over here now, so we can probably move you there and then move you over here. We're trying to keep vision on as much as possible so that barbarians don't spawn on, uh, spawn on us. We'll go down there. And then you're going to wait. We first want to buy this tile. Although maybe we should have waited two turns because we were going to take the cheaper build buy tile. Yeah, probably. So you're size two, Wealth consists. and you are working this one for like a turn or so. This is harbor time. Yeah, and now, sweet, we can... Ah, crap. Granary then. Ooh, maybe we should knock out walls. Screw it, let's knock out walls, because we got a boost on walls. You need to build three mines, you're already boosted, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll come down and grab Enlightenment. We probably want to get one more Archer as well. That'll be fine. You're going to come over here. Um, and then we want to buy Apostles. And you're just going to um, work on the city here next turn. Yeah, go build a mine. You fortify there. You're going to come back here, and close enough. We need, like, two more turns. Okay. Can you come here? No. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, let's try going over here. Oh, this is painful, man. I mean, I like having an island to myself, but there's something to be said about having opponents to at least have some interesting things happen. Harbor Master doubles the adjacency bonus from commercial hubs and harbors in the city. That's what we were going for. 
That's foreign trade routes, which is a little hard to determine. And since we hadn't met anyone else, it doesn't help us right now. So, yeah. Okay, we need one more turn, and then we got you. You come through here. We still got, remember, that ship flying around somewhere over here, which I'm not too concerned with. Um, was there a Canal City option? Doesn't look like it. Kind of sucks. It's okay. Do we see red? I thought we saw housing and or amenity issues somewhere. No, we're good. We're good. We're doing great on amenities, so we're going to harvest you. And you're going to finish that, and then you're going to immediately go for my holy site. Yeah, I should have queued up the holy site because the holy site would almost be done, but oh well. Uh, we're going to evangelize belief. We want mosque, please. Hold up. Is there another one we want? Plus one science, envoy, culture, gold, faith for every city, fallenness, religion, and other civilizations and city-states. Perhaps. Uh, this would give us six extra faith, which, I mean, we're making 44 per turn. Not that big. Uh, we won't be able to do another building. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do another building. Envoy, it adds 200 religious pressure to the city state. The pressure isn't as helpful because it's right here with us. Uh, each campus, commercial hub, or city provides one science, gold, respectively. Yeah, it's commercial hub, though, not harbors. So I don't think that's as helpful. And so then we could basically just make free science. I think the only one here that really is great... would be Pilgrim. Which would immediately give us six other faith. Well, we'll give us six other faith. It is spreading the sea states, right? Religion. Yeah, yeah, they're slowly becoming communism. So, that would give us six faith when they finish. Is that worth it? Hmm, maybe. Well, what's nice about this, though, is for every city fallen this religion and other civilizations and sea states, is as we spread our religion, this gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So you know what? I think it is worth it. Let's start with Mosque. And we should be able to buy the next one. Yeah. Beautiful. And then we might just want to start queuing up missionaries. Uh, well, here's the thing. Can we build the Mosque? Oh, it's only 35. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, we buy missionaries here. Our missionaries are going to have plus four spreads. Although, we can't use them yet. So, there's no reason to do it yet until we can go across Ocean Pals. We might have a very early win here. We'll have to see. It depends on what religion looks like everywhere else. Uh, we don't care about loyalty and all this is fine. So, we're good there. Campus adjacency, we don't even have a campus yet. So, probably not. Uh... We're in third place. Most likely, though, that's based on how many cities that has been... Yeah, see, they've already converted some cities, so that's why. I don't think it's necessarily based on faith. Okay, you are going to purchase this... We did mean to switch this. Yeah, I did mean to switch that. We also don't need the settlers. Nope. Well, that was a screw-up. Not the first, probably won't be the last. And in fact, we'd be able to afford it, too. <laughs> Would have been able to afford it last turn, in fact. Ah, uh, idiot. <laughs> Call myself an idiot so you don't have to. Okay. Plus two faith for every city following this religion. Yep. Envoy, it adds 200 religious pressure, doesn't matter. And really, the envoys are going to come from culture, and we're not going to get a lot of culture. Boom. Okay, then. Let's do this. Um... I think we go with missionaries to begin with, to be honest. But let's just bank our faith for the time being. There's no need. Oh my lord. Someday we're going to find someone else. Someday. Hey, no. Go away. Don't even... Ow. <laughs> Double ow. Freaking piss off, man. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're good here now, though. Grab you. 
Grab you. And now you're worthless. Great. Ah, actually, you're size three, so... Okay. And... We should probably grab the lighthouse then before the harbor. I think it's their goal. Uh, also, we're at like 30 minutes right now. Yeah, we're right at 30. We'll go a little bit longer because I'm really enjoying the game. I'm like addicted to Civ 6 again. It's so bad. I'm playing like Hearts of Iron today and Civ 6 and like it's so hard for me to stop playing games today. It's just like... Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. We could have finished that earlier. And then we could have cheaply bought in tiles. Uh, we want to switch over the builders, so I think I'm gonna I'm okay doing this because in two turns We're probably gonna want to build more builders. I think over here. We might want more builders as well Nah Let's do the temple No, we definitely want builders here Yeah, we definitely want builders there And we're gonna switch that next turn. We'll do builders and then purchasing tiles I guess. Nope, we can't get here. Oh, crap. I'm okay with the industrial zone, and then we're probably going to rush out cartography. We need one more harbor, though. Yeah, you. But we need the gold. But we're going to be able to purchase tiles cheaper <laughs> next turn. Uh, not cheap enough, though. We're not making enough gold per turn. Wow, this is so terrible. Rainia is now established. We met someone! <laughs> yes, Harold! My buddy! He's not gonna hate me either because we actually have a navy. It's a small navy. I don't underrate them. But he shouldn't hate me. We need to make sure we have money then, because we're gonna start meeting people. Okay, he's not gonna hate me. I think I'd rather just take your gold, honestly. Do we need it? Can we take some gold? We can do open borders. Can I get like a little bit of gold? A little bit more? 35? 28? 20? 15? I need as much gold as possible because we're trying to buy crap right now. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So that puts me in 19 gold. <laughs> uh, I thought we had more gold. I thought we actually had gold. Where'd all our gold go? Also, did we meet his... home? No. What did we meet then? That's not Harold. I mean, clearly he has a ship that came over here. He must have just passed through and then left it right away. Uh, ooh, okay, policy switch. Go back to monarchy. Policy switch. We want builders. 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 And... It's a hundred. It would be eighty. It would just be eighty. Screw it. If we don't have enough money, we're just gonna build another builder. Yeah, let's build a builder there. Well, that sucks, but okay. You're coming all the way down there. Eh, at least we got it close to Jetta. Yeah, seriously, wondering where we met him. Hello. I know you. You messed me up earlier. I'm here to mess you back up. Um, I'm gonna put you over here just in case we can get a shot off. If he moves in range. I don't know how we tech boost engineering, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess we're gonna grab a builder because I can't afford 100 gold. We did get walls. That's how we got walls. They're gonna do a little damage to me. So Norway's monarchy, so they're not that much further ahead. Hello, goodbye. Harold's at 51 science. And we're not actually not even in last place. Um, 21 culture, he's making 22. So, per turn, we're a little behind. We're a little behind. 
Domination, what's he at? 280? I'm at 234. We're good there. Yeah. Although Harold's one of the la latter place. And he's making 34. And he has a religion. Yeah. Okay. So we're a little behind, but not bad. I guess is the point. We're maintaining. Where did my ship go? Oh yeah, we brought you over here. Because we couldn't go anywhere. So we're going to bring you back up there to heal. Ah, lighthouse. I would love to... Oh, 19 gold per turn. That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Did we trade gold per turn? Did I trade gold per turn and not total gold? You're unfriendly with me. Well, we're going to have the same government here pretty quick, so you can stop hating me. Yeah, he's at war with everyone, man. Where do we see our current trade routes? Where can we see what we're trading? See, it's not giving me any additional, so now, now it had to be, it had to be a one-time boost, like I thought. Still, that means in two turns, this is gonna be uh, 38, 42 plus 38 is gonna be 80. We're gonna be really close to being able to buy my freaking district, man. So close. Uh, we don't need you here, but you know what? You're fine there, so we'll leave you there. Hey, there's Harold. So Harold's to the west. Noted. I gotta wrap this episode up, man. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm enjoying playing the game, man. Uh, so, cartography it is. We need the harbor. Yes. Hopefully we'll remember to switch off of it. Mecca? I actually think we go for a mosque. But getting a harbor over here, we don't have the money. So yeah, do a mosque. Yeah. And once we finish cartography, we can start spamming our religion out. We're going to have a lot. We still got 20 more turns, so we're going to have a lot of spreads because we get plus two charges. We're going to have plus three charges. So that means everyone's going to spread at least six times, <laughs> right? I think that's how it works. Apostles are three. Maybe they're more than that. Either way, we're going to have a ridiculous amount of charges, which is going to be awesome. You come over there. We're good. We don't care. Divine right. And Galley's available for promotion, which we'll take care of when we get back home. Okay, so we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later.